Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Days of our live spoilers recap for Friday, May 19, reveals that Gabby Hernandez, Camila Banas, and Stefan Dimera, Brandon Barish, returned to their room at the Dimera mansion, where they gloated about E.J. Dimera, Dan Furigal, having to do anger management and sensitivity training. After Gabby realized Lee Shin, Remington Hoffman, signed the divorce papers and sent them over, Stefan decided it was the perfect time to propose and got down on one knee. Once Stefan asked Gabby to marry him again, she happily accepted the ring and kissed him passionately. Downstairs on Friday's Days episode, EJ saw Nicole Walker, Ariane Zucker, with her new prescription bottle and wondered what she was taking. Nicole explained it was something Kayla Johnson, Mary Beth Evans, prescribed, so EJ assumed the pills were for her condition. Nicole kept the fact that they were prenatal vitamins under wraps, but she wound up ranting about how men treated menopausal women. EJ assured Nicole that she'd never been more desirable and started making out with her just before Stefan appeared with Gabby. After Gabby and Stefan shared updates on their engagement news, they insisted they'd run Demira Enterprises together as a power couple once they were married. Nicole turned down the champagne that Stefan and Gabby offered, but she claimed it was because she didn't want to celebrate their unholy union. Once Gabby and Stefan headed upstairs, they shared a toast in bed. Stefan hoped their next marriage brought more love and laughter, as well as a lot less death, so Gabby laughed in agreement. Gabby wound up spilling some of her drink on her neck so Stefan licked it off as their private celebration took a sizzling turn. Back downstairs on Friday's DOL show, EJ decided maybe they could steal Stefan and Gabby's thunder. So he stunned Nicole by getting down on one knee and asking her to marry him. At the pub, Sloane Peterson, Jessica Surfy, kept fibbing and dodging questions as Jada Hunter, Elia Cantu, and Rafe Hernandez, Galen Deering, quizzed her about her brother. Eric Brady, Greg Vaughn, learned Colin Bedford, Jasper Newman, was in town and suspected of being behind the recent crimes. So he urged Sloane to cooperate and avoid making things worse. Sloane broke down in tears as she admitted she just found out about Colin's plan yesterday. Once Sloane overheard that conversation about Colin at the Salem PD, she put it together and confronted Colin at the White Dove. Sloan said Colin confessed to targeting Paulina Price, Jackie Harry, and Chanel Dupree, Raven Bowens, so she urged him to leave town or else she read him out. Although Sloan had nothing to do with Colin's scheme, Jada still arrested her since she withheld the truth from the cops and made herself an accessory by pushing Colin to flee. Once Jada handcuffed Sloan and took her down to the station, Eric insisted Sloane couldn't be questioned without a lawyer. Sloane said she'd be fine and was left alone with Jada soon after. Jada got Sloane to repeat her side of the story, but Sloane didn't have anything new to add and didn't know where Colin went after he checked out of his motel room. Sloane assumed Colin acted alone and was confused when Jada mentioned something about her sister's involvement. In Channel's bedroom on Friday's Day's episode, Talia Hunter, Akitra civilian, said the only reason she pursued Channel romantically was because her boyfriend put her up to it. Talia also admitted that she was dating Sloane's brother, so Channel realized Talia had been playing her from the start. As Talia cried, she apologized for trying to set Channel up for heartbreak. Channel ranted about the office break-in and the threatening texts that caused Polina's panic attacks. After Channel realized Talia drugged the biscuits, she blew up at her since Talia was a doctor and someone could have died. Talia acted like they were only doing harmless pranks, but Channel thought both Colin and Talia were psychos. Once Channel threw Talia out, she decided she needed to warn Polina and got out her phone to call her. At Sweet Bits, Colin refused to let Polina help Abe Carver, James Reynolds, and took her phone away. Paulina was led to Colin's suite at gunpoint, 
so that gave Colin a chance to hand over an old family photo album. By then, Paulina had figured out that Colin was Martha and Nathan Bedford's son. Colin told a story about his parents dancing in a Barcelona fountain and being madly in love, but Paulina argued that people change. Paulina tried to blame Nathan for taking advantage of Chanel, but Colin felt that she seduced his father and set that catastrophic affair in motion. Since Colin was determined to avenge his mom and dad, he led Paulina up to the roof before taking Chanel's call. Colin warned Chanel to listen carefully to his instructions, so she showed up on the roof soon after and panicked over Paulina's predicament. Once Colin decided the rooftop story involving his mother had come full circle, he told Chanel to say goodbye to her mom. She's about to jump to her death, Colin said while holding the gun on Paulina. After Rafe put an APB out on Colin, he got a call from Abe at Sweet Bits. Abe was still pretty out of it as he sat on the floor, but he managed to reveal that he'd been attacked and shared his location. Once Rafi arrived on Friday's Day's episode, he found Abe and asked if he was Oak. Abe insisted they had to find Polina as he gripped his head in pain. When Talia returned to Colin's suite, she saw that his photo album was out. Talia also spotted Polina's scarf and wondered what it was doing there. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our Days of Our Lives Gossip YouTube channel for more update news.